Okay, a fairly quick one. This is about a five, four to five minute job. It shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, Mercedes windshield washer bottle removal replacement uh, or replace the, the pump. There's a pump here on the front. Uh, this is for headlight washers if you have the headlight washers. If you don't, there's going to be just a little hole there uh, with a little cap in it. The regular pump is behind this metal shield in the back, and I'll show you that in two seconds. It's not hard to get to. So first thing you do is I've, I've pre-unhooked all this stuff so you don't have to watch me undoing bolts and everything. I just figured it'd be a lot easier for you. So unplug the washer fluid level sensor. Then there's simply one 10 millimeter plastic nut on the top right there. It comes off. Uh, you can take out the front pump first if you've got to take out the front pump first. It's just a lot easier. There's a electrical connection with connection with two metal spring clips. Push in on them and oops. actually I'm gonna pop it out first. Um, to pop out the washer fluid, uh, the the front pump. Turn the hose. So it's facing forward and then simply pull up and then you can grab the electrical connection and unplug it and that's your front pump uh, this little nozzle goes down in to suck out fluid from the bottom of the washer bottle and it's simply held on with a spring clamp onto this uh, weave braided hose so anyway that's uh that's taken care of that's off uh simply now take the whole washer fluid bottle pull it up there's kind of a a bracket on the back that goes in a little notch and of course the bolt the shaft that the bolt was on right up now unhook the two hoses they go into two slots on the side they simply pop in that's the heater hoses for heating the coolant they pop into two little slotted brackets on the side the two hoses undo the two hose clamps which I've already done so you don't have to watch them go through that and pull the hoses off. Now slide the bottle up gently because there's still some wiring attached. So be gentle and turn it forward. Now see this metal heat shield here. There's a clip on the back. You have to grab that with a pair of pliers and pull this clip off. And then the shield will simply slide forward and off. See it's got two slots there that slide down into these two pegs slides down and then the clip holds it onto this last one. Now this washer bottle is basically the same as the front one. Rotate it forward, pull up, and that is it. There's a little spring clip for the little clip for the hose, the washer fluid hose, and the electrical connector. So that's for the front pump and that is it. So your front pump goes in there, pushes down in that little grommet in the bottle, and that is where the headlight one goes to. And that's basically about it. Thanks for watching.